Okay guys, so <coughs> um how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing fine and well. So yeah. So I'm back again on the update <coughs> about the stock market I did analysis on in previous months. So um I think the video was uh, on yeah white cloud schematic in tesla on the apple stock market so yeah this is the update on the analysis i showed you guys to explain the white cloud schematic on tesla and the apple stock so we first of all look on the tesla stock so i'm going to explain everything again so during that month when was that um 15 July it was like two months ago so yeah I talked about the Tesla stock and I say that we are what I can see on the Tesla stock is a distribution phase and yeah the white cost is a distribution phase and we see price do retracement to another supply but we have this on the daily chart and then we see a further downwards movement to an area of demand right here or an other block right here in which we have this imbalance that it needs to clear to balance price right here so what I'm trying to see here is to see price trade lower mitigate this area and could possibly go bullish but for a moment I think right now that the dollar index is um, um, bullish then it means that the stock market major currency like the euro and the pound and also the crypto market is weak we on the downside since the dollar index the dsy usdx is bullish okay so in this case we're seeing a retracement downwards to on the stock market and when i did this analysis i think the price was at this area and i made the mention of it doing retracement since we have a fair high right here and also i think i also mentioned an area where i labeled a mitigation block I think that was here right here so it was the area of demand that was violated is an other block that was what violated why is it violated because we have been on the bullish structure right here right we have higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low right then we failed to create a new high right here now this fail high is only confirmed is only confirmed if we see it break structure to the downside then we can confirm that this buy stop right see here will be protected is a fail high so it's an expectation of the flow price is not expected to trade higher anymore and we see a retracement back towards an area of what supply so we can see that it went to my direction mitigated area and we can see the bearish movements you know has i the expected it to so on the daily chart we can go down to the daily chart and we can see yeah. also it seems like we have another distribution phase right here you can see that right here but sometimes it's difficult to you know find out in uh, this white cross schematic phase like I said if you see price approaching an area of supply or area of demand you can see it if it's approaching an area of supply it could possibly form a distribution phase around the area to distribute price downwards and vice versa for an area of demand it could possibly bleach on the block depends which one you choose to call it we can see the price mitigates or approach that area with a white of phase of accumulation to mitigate your area and go bullish so right here this is the situation we have here so we have the buying claimers the automatic query the st secondary test then we have the ut and then we have a fail high now what really happened here you can see that right here we have these um, stop hunts right here and if you check my last video i explained about stop hunt um the last video was uh, smart money concepts setup analysis you need to know so right here i also mentioned about stop hunt stop hunt plus break market structure and then a return towards other block so right here we see a stop hunt and that stop hunt went forwards a gap right here so it filled in that gap right here right 
because what happened we see that it broke structure here also on the daily chart so we see price do what trade back into that fair value gap doing what a stop hunt so after the stop hunt what do we have again we have a break of structure right a break of the market structure so we have a bmh right here so what we're expecting is what a return to what other block now we can see the price return to other block after breaking this low right here we see the price return to the fair value gap and continue downwards so what i'm not expecting now what is the market telling us it has given us a hand that it wants to change trend after the bullish structure now since we break a market structure right here what we're expecting again we see an area of supply right here the last bullish candle the last buy candle prior to the positive move down right and there's something i'll also be teaching again on smart money concepts how to analyze your trade right so right here we have a fake out zone right here we have uh, a fake out zone right here so what is this fake out zone telling us is telling us it has it have liquidity now if we see liquidity what should we be looking for price should approach our point of interest with what liquidity it has to create liquidity either a fake out zone we are trading a stop hunt as a smart money trader so what do we experience here in Africa, as we do what we experience a stop hunt on that area of what resistance we have um arrow one we have arrow one right here and also we have arrow two right here so this is uh, a fake out zone with uh, the area of a point of interest which is aligned in the favor gap so in most cases i don't trade favor gap I will tell you that I don't know how to based on I could see favor gap everywhere and I don't know which one it could probably play out. So the other time I'm looking at favor gap is if I have an area of supply demand and a fake out zone, air liquidity right there. So what happened? We see a stop hunt on the liquidity, grabbing liquidity, mitigating area of supply, and what did it do again? It went downwards again to the what to break structure. So what do we have here? We have a break break of structure right there. So I'm going I'm doing a further explanation of this, right? So this is how you analyze your market, right? Now what do we have again? What do we have again? We have price trade down and do what? Did the little retracement to what a fair value gap and yeah there is another block. So downward came to that area of demand we are expecting, but it is not an area of demand. Why? Because it did not break this high right here. So this demand is not likely to hold because it has changed direction right here so what happened it broke that demand after the mitigation and then it do what violated it and do what broke the structure so now if there's this file called the tradable and non tradable order blocks now a tradable order blocks is another block that break an opposing order block now this supply was formed here and this was this supply that was responsible for breaking this our demand right here on the weekly chart it was that supply that was responsible after it filled in this imbalance right here then what happened it created an area of supply breaks our area of demand and what happened price is expected to trade to that area of supply to be responsible to take out the area of demand to take out the opposing um, order block and after that we'll be seeing what a break of structure so all our expecting a retracement to that area of what supply and that is what we you see that happened here <laughs> you see i'm glad that it did went to my direction you know has i predicted it they they should be so what am i expecting price to do since the dollar index is bullish i'm expecting it to do right come up to my area of interest the weekly area of demand right there then i might be expecting it to do what go bullish right depending on how it reacts on that zone because this is the probability you can't confirm this yet unless you do what you see how price right here or it did what creates an area of inducement where it will create a liquidity to mitigate that area of demand right so you can see that direction right there and i'm glad about that so the second one i did was the apple stock this is my favorite so the apple stock right here you just did my you just did what I expected to do. So what we're seeing here, the same stuff I explained. I see a white cost schematic right here. So what do we have here? The same thing on the last video I posted, the SMC setup analysis that you need to know. We have a high right here, like we have higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Then we do what we have what the stop hunt. 
why did I call this stop hand? It did not break a structure, it was just a wick that did what that grabbed the coin on that high. So it is a stop hunt. That was why you see that marking gold right here. So it is not yet confirmed, it's not yet confirmed as a stop hunt unless we do what we see it do what break a market structure. So this intermediate low, short term low, the, it was broken and also it went for the more to break the structure right here. And what happened? It was an area of demand behind. This was the buy that was responsible to grab that liquidity. The last buy candle price of the impulsive move down the price structure. So right here we have a stop hunt. Now that stop hunt, you look for the area of demand. Um, the other block was responsible to stop to hunt that stops resting on this high. Um, those buy stop. So it is no has a stop hunt. If we see it grab liquidity with a week, then went down to do what break the micro structure of that structure that it grabbed that liquidity. So the interesting part of this is that has it the, it did that it did or create liquidity around that point of interest where so we have equals right here. We have equals right here. So price did what came back up, traded back up, mitigated area of what or the block and went furthermore to do what to break structure. It went furthermore to do what to break structure. So the same thing I explained on the SMC setup analysis you need to know it's just the same thing this is just it there's still more i could post and the next video i will do will be on everything on how you need things you know the uh introduction to this family concept and things i look at and yeah things you need to know also though i know that it might be the same thing that you have learned so far but you will get to find some other confluence that I, I used on my analysis. So like I said, don't know if I said it on that previous video where I did analysis on this stock market. I say that whenever, whenever I want to look for Weicker schematic, I do that on higher time frame, the weekly, daily and the monthly. That's where I see my Weicker schematic. I saw the same thing on Bitcoin. So, but then I was not on this YouTube channel, I was only on the social media facebook page so my you can get my facebook page you can follow me on facebook page i'm always posting something there on my facebook page so you could still check me on facebook with this yeah so <laughs> continue uh so yeah that <laughs> is that how to spell facebook all right my bad so that is it <laughs> you can see then i did when i did analysis i think the price was here because since this arrow was from here so the same thing i did on um what is it called tesla i mentioned here it was mitigation block if you look at the weekly chart you can see there's this big candle right here is another block but what happened it just this happened right this happened price so down went off supply Set down and you look forward to supply the responsible to break the structure and we saw that on our daily chart so price trade about this area went straight to our supply and you can see the beautiful reaction here on the sniper here so i also say that i don't trade stock markets why did i say so and what are my reasons my reason is because there are lots of gaps on the stock market gap 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 and <laughs> on the lower time frame that is where you see the worst okay so that was the reason i said i'd rather do investment on stock market than trade you understand so doing analysis and trading the stock market is not good for me to be honest with you to be frank with you because there are lots of gaps lots of gaps so you could get confused you get confused you don't know what the price is doing right here so that was what i'm always on the higher time frame and the reason why I say I don't trade it, I would rather do it, invest on the stock market for a long term profitability. So yeah, you can see how it happens. So let's explain this one. I've explained how it went to our supply right here, broad structure and went furthermore to break a major low right here. So do what we have a failed high. So in that failed high, what do we have there? We have what an area supply, so there was a sniper entry. You can also see that 
on the four hour chat you can see the supply right here and you can see the gap the fair value gap right there so price did what mitigate our area sniper and went furthermore to sell so you can see <laughs> something i posted two months ago how it played out so wow am i expecting to see i'm expecting to see a trade lower to do what clear the imbalance since we have a fair value gap right here so that was why i was expecting price to do all right and also you know grab liquidity resting on these lows so don't know how far it might sell off because i still have what another uh i still have favorite gap also below here so i don't know it could be that the stomach it will be a bad day for the stock market so yeah it played out i'm happy about that glad about that and you can see it's not something you could see on a higher time frame most times so i'm um, just me most times i'm known for having an entry or doing analysis on lower time frame so yeah that is it for the apple stock and the tesla stock so that is the update and what i have eyes on again is the asian mobile corporation company on uh, the new york stock market so um i think I'll, i also saw distribution right here yeah so what really happened you can see that we are being on your range right here be on the range right here all right so right now <laughs> i will honestly tell you that this chart is not clean but i can tell you that it's on a decline why do i say so we have a fair high right here we have a fair high right here so we were expecting it to run through this low grabbing liquidity so if we run down to our daily chart let's see what we got let's see what we got so we saw a trade into what you get right there and also you can see this your your um, supply right and you can see it left gap behind so this I'll tell you I can see something clean so if you can see something you should not force your eye to see or you want it to see you should just ignore it and wait for the best moment and you know how this time market is you can have you can see the mess it's been doing so there was the reason <laughs> stock market and my stuff we rather trade on it and yeah 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 i remember something i think there was analysis i did on twitter when i was not on this youtube channel so yeah yeah it's playing out so <coughs> the analysis i did when uh and the most bought twitter this logo was not here it was the tesla logo that was here i did this analysis and posted it on my handle so <laughs> there was analysis when he bought this uh, this talk this Twitter there was a gap that happened here so we see the price sell down lower leaving behind uh, CB sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency so what am I making out here I'm making out the fair value gap a fair value gap and I think yeah it was not clear it was not clear remotely was on the weekly so i marked a fair value gap and since then since then we can see that the price do what has been on that area ever since and it's been consolidating i also have an eye on this supply right here since what do we have we have a fair high and we have uh, the build up right here the build up we have the build up the build up that was responsible to break structure you also call it demand oh sorry supply so we have what we have the break of market structure the break of market structure so that that was why i was also that's why i marked out this area and i was looking at that too so this could probably be what an area of inducement so the only thing that i marked was this fair value gap right here and the price did do a, a direction right here and it's been there for how many months for how many months since the month uh and almost bought this market so you can see it's ranging so something could possibly happen right here yeah something could possibly happen don't know if it might trade higher to the area of supply right there 
it was possible to break structure after a failed high right here so yeah there is it don't know did I do any other for the any further explanation in this yeah so yeah we can see area of demand was violated right here so the stock market <laughs> is is gonna be in a bad situation you can see our area of demand broken so the only reason I have an eye here because I'm expecting price to do what to do what to trade higher because there's an area of supply on the daily chart and there was a fair value gap so the stock market be messy so um if we look at the um what's it called the dxy dollar index i'll show you something we have a buy stop we have buy stop liquidity rising on this high all right so in my own view i'm gonna see our uh, expecting the dollar to trade higher and grab liquidity you are seeing on this high grab the buy stop resting on this high and we still furthermore go for this all-time high resting right here for the dollar index so it's gonna be a bad bad situation for the stock market and the crypto market because the inflation rate is high and the cor this dollar is a fragile is a reserved currency the most widely used currency for transaction and you know um, trade where you purchase goods online and stuff like that so you can see the dollar in this is a standalone currency the dollar is a standalone currency and we can see it we run above this high and could possibly still run above this high since there's nothing here there's no supply and demand that it could use to do it to reduce price to sell downward you can see how many see this there's nothing here you can see this range market right here okay so we have that high to be taken out and that of 1985 to be taken out so those is gonna be a tough thing for us right here so you could like also grab my idea on the comment section then we can talk about it too so yeah this is my own view on this there's nothing here i could see it could use to do a reject price all right so that is my own view on the dollar index and yeah same thing as bitcoin bitcoin oh she does not worry about that now but everybody has eye on bitcoin out of demand was uh that is the area but uh there is uh, this area right here there is area of demand so is price likely to what respect that demand or not we do not know until we see how it was there and still hit we have what we have imbalances right there we still have imbalances we still tell you that i can see a white curve right here though we have already seen a white curve when i was not on this youtube channel when it was uh, this area this area i think i marked the white curve schematic right here i my psy and all those stuff so I don't know which one exactly or I have deleted it or possibly the buy bit or things like that oh yeah 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 it's the buy bit so this is it I mark PSY buying climbers and some of the test UT still we have liquidity here but that was left behind so it was an area of supply the area of supply was on the weekly chart right here so we have the consolidation drop base drop and intermittent low was taken out and then what happened also we have this demand right here that was violated right here that was violated and price to what broke lower so it did follow my prediction like trade into the fair value gap went up a little and i was still expecting it to sell down fair value gap a little area of demand and go bullish but in this situation i'm not expecting to see that 10k demand to be respected so my reasons is because i'm still looking at an imbalance below yeah so it's kind of like scary 
but we should have eye on that area because I could still like start to mark right off I could like start marking from this high right here mm. this one and then um, this one right here so we're having higher highs and higher lows higher higher and higher lows right there so we're having a pullback afterwards the distribution phase happened occurred at this area right here you can see the area of demand that was violated so it's telling us that um, it has changed direction to be what bearish so the area of demand was used as what resistance right here you see that so use the resistance right here so it pushed the price lower and yeah we still have you see trade into a very gap you can see i marked that right here that was the mitigation block on the four hour sorry a breakout block in four hour i was able to explain that but you, on the daily chart you can see it was a favorite gap it filled right there and continued to go bearish so then i was looking here to mitigate this area then continue selling down but it did not do that so who knows who knows who knows so this area is where we've been looking at right since so we have equals here it could grab that liquidity and yeah so there is it right here you can see we still have this here here so the tons of imbalances but no worries about that we should just focus on the area that we have eyes on which is that area of demand because it has imbalance there so it needs to fill the imbalance so yeah who knows just watch yeah just watch so yeah that is it right there okay so see you guys next time i'll drop in on the video yeah